okay, good evening, everybody. Um, this here is gonna be a super, uh, super quick tutorial. Not a full-blown one, but, um, this is mainly for those that have, uh, never seen this game before. I'm just gonna show, I'm just gonna show the basic mechanics of how this works. Um, yeah, probably not the best choice. Let's just do this one. But okay. But anyway, the way this works, each each gem color corresponds, or basically a type of mana. Each player, or I should say, each character in this game, they call it troop, but I call it character, uh, character, person, card, etc. Um, has a certain type of mana requirement, like this guy here, uh, red and yellow, this girl here, uh, brown and purple, green and blue, uh, yellow and green, and removing, uh, matching three, or matching at least three colors gives you that much mana for the, for the, uh, for the appropriate character. Now, the way, now... For those that are for those that are curious as to what happens if you have duplicate colors, well, that's probably one of the fun one of the fun things about this game is uh team placement is very important. It's almost like the game Darkest Dungeon. Same thing. Um, it's a a four player RPG dungeon crawl game, but uh, where you have the members of your team, you know where you have them set up is very important. Same with this game. Real? Why? Because um. Because, uh, whenever mana fills up, or whenever you get mana, the player, the, the person at the very top gets that mana first. And once he's uh, all full up, then the next character down gets the rest of that mana. So, like I said, team place, or member placement is important. You know, so you, you put the one, you know, the ones that you, that gotta have the red mana... The, you can put them on the top and the one the other red mana using guys you got that's not so much you put them towards the bottom kind of get the idea so so I'll go ahead and start oh and also if you can match at least four gems you get an extra turn so I'll go ahead and do this because mana surge. I just matched three different colors there. And see, your opponent is trying to do the same as well. They're trying to get they're trying to get mana of whatever color they got. So let's continue on. Oh, and these skulls that you're seeing. Mana surge. I'll let you do it. Whenever you match three or more skulls player at the very top deals direct damage equal to whatever his attack rating is. So I'm just picking and choosing right now. Mana Surge. So, she got enough, she got enough mana so, and uh, each character has total has totally different spell abilities. So, like in this in this girl's case here, destroy all gems of a chosen color, give all allies four armor. Um, armor in this game is, generally speaking, extra health. But there's various mechanics that that affect your armor, but not your life. And then vice versa. The team I have that um that a guy named uh, Mr. Sneaky One helped me create is uh, actually centered around dealing damage via armor. Um, in Final Fantasy XIV terms, I want to say the warrior, the warrior class has something like that. But like I said, I haven't. I haven't played that game in a very long time, so I don't remember too much in what the tank classes do. 
But I think somewhere in that game, um, one of the classes dealt damage based on uh, how much defense they had. So, but anyway, um, and again, destroy all gems of a chosen color. Destroying gems in this game. I hope you can see it. Yeah, you can. Gems are removed from the board with full effect as if they were matched. So what this means is, if you look over here on the left, this is how many uh, gems of each color are on the board right now. So I just got to pick a color. If, for example, I'll probably go ahead and... Um, I can barely see him, but he's almost full up on red and yellow mana. Oh, and also, I also forgot to mention, the number on the right that you're seeing, this is how much mana you need to fill up your orb completely. And you can fill that up by whatever color is in this orb. Like in this guy's case, red and yellow, color don't matter as long as it's one of those two. And if, if by some miracle, you can um, you can take down b both of those two colors, and both of those two colors will contribute. So, but again, since since he's full up or he's getting close to it, and um, she kind of need she kind of needs some help. I'll go ahead and um, I'll choose blue. So I'll just pick a blue gem. And now she's full up on mana, ready to cast her spell. But they're gonna get a bunch of extra turns. This is one of the... This particular mechanic I just did, this is one of the drawbacks. If you get rid of all the gems of one color, that means you're only gonna, you're gonna have fewer colors up there, meaning more of a potential for your opponent to start uh, chaining turns together. So let me, let me look on the board. Let me look for uh, matches of four or more. Not seeing any. So. And so, deal four scatter damage boosted by my armor. Deals an amount of damage randomly split up between all enemy troops. Um, the boost is 24. So basically, 28 points of damage is going to be divided randomly between all of my, all the enemies. So let's see what we got. So let's take out two of them. So we'll just go ahead and continue on. But this is just a sample battle. I just wanna I just wanna show the basics. Um uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mana I'll surge. just do that. And um and I forgot to mention too. Sometimes, whenever you're matching gems, you'll hear you'll hear and see mana surge. That means you're getting double mana, twice as much as whatever, whatever you whatever you grabbed. Uh, still debating. I'm trying to think. Of I'm trying to think a few moves ahead as well, so I'll just do that. Can't think of anything else. If you'll get the ability off, spit venom. Mana surge. And I'm just gonna get off whatever that is, charm. I believe charm. Um, a selected target deals damage to a player above them and below them based on what their attack rating is. Mana Surge. So, let's take a look here. Alright, so it looks like a... Okay, so we got red and blue. So I'll go ahead and pick red. Try to deny my opponents their mana. Uh, 
Okay, so, um, what am I now gonna do? Let me check for any, uh, let me check for any fours or fives. Because, again, if you can, um, if you can chain at least, if you can, uh, match at least four, you get an extra turn. Uh, I'm not seeing any. So, since he's full up, um, give armor to an ally equal to, basically doubles their current armor. And I'm going to select her. I think she's about to die, too. So, I'll go with that. And then hopefully this will be enough to finish him off. Same thing. And then you get some, uh, and then you get some rewards. But anyway, that's how, that's, for the most part, how the game works. So, just thought I'd go ahead and, uh, toss out that quick tutorial. Plus, um, I plan on putting this in my Final Fantasy XIV blog post. So, just to give, um, just to give uh, any readers an idea as to how the game plays, because, um, for this particular, for this particular post, it's going to be a lot faster for me to just make a video about it than having to sit here and type out a super huge essay as to how the game plays. So, but otherwise, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it, and take care.